so in this session we are going to talk about the packaging specification mostly the master data part or the end user part and not the configuration however we will look at uh, briefly about some aspect of the configuration and uh, before going through the packaging specification topic i would recommend that you understand the handling unit concept in ewm which is more or less same as what we used to have in pcc so the very first thing uh, we want to talk about is that uh, we have uh, the handling unit is nothing but a uh, packaging material wherein we're going to pack the product so take a simple example of a carton or a box and wherein we are going to uh, put some quantity in it let's say 10 pieces we are going to put in a box and then we are going to seal it so that sealed box is now uh, becomes as a handling unit so there will be a unique number which will be assigned to the system in the system to the handling unit so a box can will have certainly have a dimension right uh, in terms of its size it will have a physical aspect so in the system because uh, in order for system to understand what is the dimension or what is the size of this box we create something called as handling unit type so let's say we for an example we will have in our organization we have three time three types of uh, box one is small one is medium and then the large box now uh, in our organization in the warehouse management we are going to store those boxes uh, the quantity which is packed in those boxes we are going to put them ultimately in a bin so we have certain uh, bins which can only accommodate small boxes if we try to put the uh, medium size or the uh, large boxes they won't fit into it so how do we manage that so we are we are going to create uh, the packaging material uh you know which represent that small box and in that material master we are going to update the field called hu type which will uh, be represented as small box then we will create uh, let's say we create uh, three material master one is for small box or medium and for the large box and we assign a unique number or unique key which is called as hu type within those uh, material master so so we assign those uh, hu type in the material master for the packaging material and then we are going to create something called as bin type which again uh, kind of talks about the dimension or the size of the box and uh, so we will also create a similar kind of bin types which is like small bin medium size bin and large size bin and then ultimately we will be uh, maintaining the combination of those medium size uh, bin with the medium size hu type the small size bin uh, type with the small size hu type so based on this setup system will able to understand that what kind of hu type uh, or what kind of handling unit you can really uh, do a put away into which size of the bins so like i said so it's better uh, if you understand the handling unit concept uh, you know before coming to the packaging specification topic now that we are here so the very first thing we would need to understand is the packaging specification group so we have uh, uh, basically if we take a simple example that we will uh, pack five quantities in a box okay so we will uh, create a sealed box with five quantity in one single box and then we will be creating let's say 10 such boxes and we are going to put those boxes in on a pallet so your one pallet is going to have ultimately 10 packed boxes all right so the total quantity will be uh, you know 50 on single pallet now there are two levels of packaging which are coming into play in this scenario one is your box other one is your pallet like i said earlier so each box is going to have five quantity of a product so how does system understand that uh, you know how many levels are going to be there in your packaging specification right because ultimately your main objective is uh, you want to pack a product in uh, certain uh, boxes pallet wire basket or some or anything like that and then you are going to further put them on a pallet or gay load or whatever so using this field system is able to interpret that how many levels are going to be there in your packaging specification 
So this is the pack spec group. If you look at it, so we have assigned something as called as level set. So levels are nothing but uh, you know creation of those. Uh, like I said, first we're going to pack the product in a box, and then ultimately we're going to put it on a pallet. So there are two levels. So level set is the combination of those two levels. Then we have something called uh, internal number range, etc. So this is that level set. So like I said, so we are going to have two levels. So this is the very first level. And then we have another level. We call them as level type. Now, ultimately, the main goal is that we are trying to we are trying to uh, inform system that how many levels we are going to have in terms of packing a product uh, while we're creating the packaging specification, right? So these uh, level types will denote each individual level. Now we'll go, uh, uh, you know, we'll have a look at the configuration of the level type as well, just a high level. Now uh, there's something called ele element type. So before I talk about the element type, now let's try to understand the physical aspect of our packaging specification. So first, uh, like I said earlier, so we are going to create a box wherein we are going to put uh, five quantities in it, in it of us same material. And then we are going to add some thermocol in it so as to give a cushioning effect to the product so that it doesn't get damaged during the transit. Right. So generally uh, the electronic products, when we pack them, uh, uh, you know, when we open the package, we will have uh, thermocol, the product main product uh, wrapped in a thermocol, which kind of gives a cushioning effect. So maybe we will add, uh, you know, a thermocol in our box and then, uh, uh, you know, over the product. Or maybe we will, instead of using a thermocol, we can use the bubble wrapping, you know, again, to give a cushioning effect. So these, uh, these uh, additional uh, uh, packaging material, which we are calling as, uh, you know, these one, the thermocol or the bubble wrap, these are called as auxiliary pa uh, packaging material, right? Because it's not exactly a box. We are putting uh, the pack, the main product along with this bubble wrap in it, uh, in the box itself. So the main packaging material will be your box which will be your handling unit number. But within that, you have something called auxiliary packaging material, right? Uh, which is uh, denoted or represented uh, for uh, the, the thermocol or for the bubble wrap. So how does system uh, get gets to know that at this particular level, you're going to use a bubble wrap or not, or whether it's going to be the box itself. You know, you will create one small box, then you will put that in a bigger box or pallet, you know. So how does system understand that? System is able to understand based on this field, which is the element type. Now let's uh, look at the, so let's go layer by layer. Just while I'm explaining, trying to explain that, just keep in your mind, uh, visualize the, you know, the scenario that wherein we have five quantity of a product and we are going to bubble wrap it and then we are going to put it in a box. So right now we are talking about the first level of packing. So I spoke about element type, right? So as you can see that in the element type, we are informing the system whether we're going to use the uh, uh, auxiliary packaging material or the main packaging material, right? So at, at the level one, if we want to use the auxiliary packaging material, we will create a keyword and we will assign this value. So maybe we can it. So rather than doing the configuration, we will focus more on the uh, conceptual part of it. You know, why do we have to do it? Doing the configuration is just a simple way, you know, do a new entry and all that. Now we spoke about the element type, right? And element type, the purpose of element type is to inform system that at which uh, at particular level, if we again go come back to this thing. So at this level, are we going to use auxiliary packaging material or we are going to use the main packaging material, right? So this one, this element type, if you recall, the element type pack refers to the main packaging material. So it could be your carton, it could be box, pallet or whatever. Now within the level set, we have, level type 
So the level set, I, uh, you know, reiterating the point, the level set is basically informing the system that how many levels of packaging are going to, we are going to use, have in our pack spec. So now let's have a look at the level type. That what does it do in the system? So if you want to impose a restriction that, you know, at this particular level of packaging, you can use the small uh, size box only for creating that packaging. You know, so you want to ensure that by mistake the end user is not, uh, you know, uh, wrapping the product or packing the product in a medium size box. However, he uh, he's supposed to pack that product in the small size box only. So you can use the HU type field as a to impose a restriction. So if you are dealing with the VAS uh, related pack spec, you can enter the external step or with the kitting process as well. So we are skipping those uh, fields for now. Now, we spoke about the level set, which ultimately is assigned to your pack spec group. And uh, within the level set, you have the level type and the element type. The element type mainly talks about what kind of packaging material you're gonna use. And the level type have different attribute depending upon the process wherein you are going to use the packaging specification. Like, are you going to use it for kitting process or for your value added service? Also, you can tie a kind of put a, impose a restriction that what kind of uh, handling unit type should be used while you are creating your, you know, uh, while you're packaging your product into it. Now, there is something called work step type. So basically when you're uh, in the real time scenario, real world, when you're creating a packaging, you're, pack up, you're packing a product, you would want a uh, end user to know the packing instruction, you know, how he has to perform, what, uh, you know, key point he has to note, uh, you know, so that he doesn't make a mistake. So if you want to create a, uh, descriptive information in the system, you can create a work step type and then using a T code, uh, we can create this uh, instruction. Now we have a node here, assign work step type to packaging material type. So let's say my work instruction says that I should be using the bubble wrap, you know, for uh, in certain packaging. So packaging material type is assigned to your packaging material, right? So basically if you want to impose a restriction that this kind, any work instruction which you create will be assigned to work step type. And you want to ensure that these work instruction are only used for small size box packaging only. So then you will assign it to the packaging material type. So this uh, don't get confused with the term material type. It has nothing to do with material type as such. So this, uh, there is a field in your material master. So when you're creating a packaging material, then you have to assign the packaging material type over there. Now this packaging material type holds the number range information and all that. There are other, uh, you know, fields over there. So using this uh, option, we are kind of restricting, you know, the system and then ultimately the end user on the usage of the element type and all that. So now we can have a look at the packaging material type. So here the packaging material type we are defining it like whether because this field the packaging material type ultimately gets assigned to your packaging material right the box because if you're going to create a pack the product in a box you will be creating a material master to represent that box if you're going to uh, put all those boxes on a palette then you will have to create a material master for to represent palette uh, in the system right so and like i said earlier so we have three type of packaging material one is your main actual packaging material then the auxiliary packaging material your bubble wrap and all and then we have something called means of transport which is used for the creation of the transportation unit 
right so the packaging material is a very critical uh, you know uh, element in terms of that because based on this field only system is able to interpret and understand whether uh, you know the material master which you have created using the material type vrp or packaging material uh, what is the purpose of it so this is uh, you know a controlling factor and like i said ultimately you assign it in the material master so not only that you have to define the packaging material type you have to also assign a packaging material type to something called a packing group the packing group gets assigned to your main main product or actual product which will ultimately be packed so what is the purpose of that packing group so you want that a product can only be packed in your small box right not in the medium box so what are you going to do it you are going to create uh, something called packing group then you are going to maintain it uh, with the packaging material type and the packing group will be assigned in your main material master and the packaging material type will be assigned in your packaging material itself so let's have a look at the uh, master data so this is the transaction code through which you can create those work in section i was talking about you can assign your work step type which you have created earlier you can add the details here So, when, so it's a descript, descriptive information and like i said the work instruction uh, the work step type is assigned in the configuration to your packaging material type which may which kinds of uh, imposes a restriction that these work step or the instruction are relevant uh, for a packaging material which are uh, which is assigned to your packaging material type uh, wherein this is also assigned in the configuration so it's kind of imposes a restriction so system has assigned a number range to which we can use in our packaging specification uh like i said earlier i uh, you know it's highly recommended that uh, you understand the handling unit con concept before you know coming to the packaging specification topic uh, as it will make your life uh, much easier in understanding this topic if you have the understanding of that pack spec group the packaging material type and the creation of the material master and all that for packaging material for your main product where to assign the pack spec group where to assign the packaging material type and how where do you maintain the allowed packaging material and the pack spec group combination and the associated settings now that we are here so we will select the uh, packaging specification group as pg02 and let's keep one uh, just uh, do visualize the uh, you know scenario which i spoke earlier that we will be creating uh, you know a box or a carton wherein we are going to pack five quantities in each carton and then we will be creating 10 such cartons or boxes and we are going to put them on a pallet so this is the business scenario we are dealing with so this is the header information we have select the pack spec group and like i said earlier the pack spec spec group is nothing but a combination of the levels you are going to create in this packaging specification we uh, in the previously we saw in the screen that there was something called level set level set was a combination of multiple levels right we had two levels in that and then we had something called element type we were informing system that at each level which kind of packaging material we going to use are we going to use auxiliary packaging material or the main packaging material so in our case we are not going to use the auxiliary packaging material we are going to use the packaging material like box and on the first level and on the second level we are going to use pallet 
So either you can click on that, uh, you know, the details button or the change button. One thing to note here is that uh, once you have created and activated the packaging specification, you can't change them. You can uh, certainly change them, of course, but you have to create a new version. Now, in terms of packaging specification, one, uh, there, there are multiple uh, parts to it. First is to create them, and then there is something called determination of uh, your packaging specification, right? You would want them to automatically, automatically be determined in terms of your value added service or in your outbound delivery or your inbound delivery, et cetera. So this uh, part I've skipped totally, so I'm not gonna talk about it, but it is uh, based on your condition technique. So 51 is my product number, which uh, for which I'm creating the packaging specification and my intent to use them in my inbound delivery. So if you look at it, uh, the packaging specification number has come automatically, uh, you know, internal number range, and that is derived from the pack spec group, which I assigned earlier. Now from the pack spec group system has determined how many levels are going to be there. Now you can create the packaging specification for one single product, or you can have multiple products in it. So if you want to add another product, so you can add another product or if you want to create a nested packaging specification, you can add the uh, earlier packaging specification number over here instead of just entering the material. So by adding this, you can create you know, the combination. So right now I'm using that simple scenario. So I will enter the product number as 51. So this is my main product. Uh, assume it's a electronic item. You know. Let's say it's a mobile phone. So I'm going to pack uh, five mobile phones in a box and uh, I will create 10 such boxes and then I will create one pallet or I'll put them on a pallet. So the levels are derived from packaging specification, right? Now let's go to the first level. Now we will enter the packaging material. So this is my box, which is smaller in size. So I will have assigned, uh, I would have assigned a H2 type called, which will be representing, you know, the small size box. Now in the description I've mentioned as bin type SQ01 so that user understands that, uh, you know, in terms of put away, this product uh, can actually go only into the small size bin, but it's just a descriptive information in the system you'll have to maintain the combination of your HU type and bin type so that system imposes a restriction that no other size of box can go into such kind of bin type. But again, that's a totally different topic. You can go through the pallet strategy, you know, uh, video which I've already posted to get the details. We already, we also created something called work step or work instruction so that the end user, okay, so, we would not have probably assigned the proper configuration. So I'm using another one which I created earlier. So the work step one I've assigned here. Now let's talk about, so this is our main box. So one box, now we have to inform system that now in order to create one box, how much quantity of the main product I need to pack into it. So I'll be entering five. So five quantity of this product goes inside this box and we will be creating a box. So we will have a handling unit created here. Now in terms of your VAS or kitting process, you can assign the, you'll need to assign the external step over here, which is part of your storage process control. Now let's go to the next level. Now, if we look at the field called element group, so this is an internal number uh, which is assigned by system while we're creating the packaging specification. Basically, it's reusable. So if you want to create another packaging specification, you can enter the element group number there and system will fetch out all the relevant details which you're entering over here in that. And like I said, so if you want to create a nested uh, packaging specification, probably you can enter 
uh, instead of material, you can enter the packaging specification here. Or if you want to create a heterogeneous, uh, you know, uh, uh, packaging, like multiple product you want to put in one single box, then you can add another product over here. So this is my palette. So uh, these values are coming automatically from your element type. So if you remember, we had created one element type. I mean, it was pre-existing, of course. So wherein we assigned the packaging category as uh, main packaging material. Now, so we have created one box wherein we have entered five quantity of it. Now we are going to create one palette wherein we are going to have 10 boxes on it. Now our palette is not a not, not of uh, such a big size that we can put uh, you know 10 boxes in a row uh, on one single level, on same level on that palette. What we're going to create is we are going to do a stacking of it. So which means that we're going to create a layer of the boxes first. So at the uh, layer, layer layer one, we will have five boxes and on top of those five boxes, we will be putting the remaining five boxes. So we'll have, uh, you know, two layers on our single palette. So how does system understand is that we will enter the layer quantity. So first layer is five on those five boxes. So on the palette, we'll have these five boxes and on top of those five boxes, we will have the remaining five, right? Because we inform the system that a palette is going to have 10. So these value which we are going to enter here is going to be multiple, they have to be multiple. So if you try to enter, let's say two here, so you will see that system will tell you that it is not possible because you say that your layer is going to have five boxes, then at least you should have five here. So if you try to enter a different value and then you will see that system will throw an error. So what we have done through this combination is that we have, we have created a box with five quantity in it, then we have created a palette wherein we will be having 10 boxes on it. Now, because like I said, our palette is not a, a very big one wherein we can put, you know, 10 boxes uh, on the same level. So we will uh, enter, we will put five boxes first and on top of those five boxes, we will keep the remaining five boxes. So you, uh, using this, we, we are also informing the system that, uh, you know, uh, if you try to put, let's say, another layer on top of those five. So if you try to put 15, then the product will probably break, right? So we are kind of imposing a restriction here that how many total quantity can be accommodated in, in a, on a pallet and like on what uh, sequence or, you know, how do you want to keep them on the pallet so as to not to break the product and also to ensure that the whole 10 boxes are accommodated on single pallet. Now you can see that total quantity field is telling you that this is the how much quantity of your main product you know will be there. So it will be 50, right? Because we are creating 10 boxes and each box is gonna have five quantity on it. So if you have created another instruction, you can enter it. Assuming that the work step type, uh, you know, using which you created the work instruction is also assigned to your packaging material type. And the packaging material type gets assigned to your packaging material. So there is a whole link of chain which you need to understand in order to have a better clarity or understanding, proper understanding of this topic. So there are multiple you know, ingredients to it. So I hope uh, this is uh, pretty much clear. You know, what is the element type and uh, what is the use of packaging specification group and all that. So we'll save it. Uh, you should, uh, I should have marked this HU creation as well. Let's mark it. Activate it. Now, once we have saved it, uh, we will have a look at the master data. which is uh, just to see the fields like the packing group and the handling unit type.
so one is your uh, main product and then you'll have the packaging material in your main product you're going to assign the packing group and in your packaging material you're going to assign the field packaging material type so like i said packaging material type will inform system that whether this packaging material and again this is not the packaging material this is your main product so this field will inform system whether it's going to be your auxiliary packing material or it will be used for your tu or it will be used as your main packaging material handling unit type uh, kinds of talk about your the physical aspect of it uh, like it's a small size box medium size box and all that and the handling unit type uh, combination is basically made assigned to your bin type if you want to impose a restriction that you know uh, this size of box can go into this size of bin then so you can see this field right storage bin type which kind of talks about the size of the bin so when you create the bin master it is assigned over there so now let go back to the configuration so you have here your pack spec group then you have the level set assigned then the level set will have your level type and then your element type element type is uh, whether it's going to be pack uh, you know auxiliary material or you know main packaging material and like i said earlier level type uh, provides the information to system whether if you want to impose a restriction that this kind of hu type uh, of packaging material can be used work step type is uh, we create it as a master data use it to create the master data and we have to assign the work step type to your packaging material type the packaging material type goes into your main packaging material or in your tu uh, material master which we used to create your tu or auxiliary material this is the creation determination part which is purely based on your condition technique Uh, we have seen the setting for packaging material type basically we are informing system whether it is used for tu so element type and this one is in terms of this particular field more or less are same but packaging material type has uh, many other fields and it is assigned in the material which are is basically used for the grouping then you have the packaging group then you have the hu types so you can assign the hu type for storage type and this has nothing to do with as such the packaging specification but more to do with your uh, you know put away strategies and all that and you can assign it to your warehouse 